Hi there, my name is Ezekiel Bruni and I'm a writer, web designer, and full-time nerd for Website Planet. Well, I do the web designing for me anyway. So today we're here to talk about an email marketing platform called GetResponse. GetResponse, they make some pretty bold claims. Specifically, they claim they offer personalized tools for who you are. In other words, whether you're a solo entrepreneur or a large company, an enterprise, they claim they've got everything you might want or need. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Actually, GetResponse really is one of our highest rated uh, email marketing platforms in general. This video review is based partially on my own experiences, but also largely on the experiences of another author who wrote the written review, which you can find in the description down below, you know, to, to get all the details and all the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's so far, so good. GetResponse actually has one of the best feature sets we've seen and so far has impressed us the, here at Website Planet the most. So, you know, give it a look. Let's get right into the features and I'll show you why we like it. First up, we've got the actual creation of emails. This is some pretty good stuff, I'm not gonna lie. We've got, you can choose from your existing messages to edit those. You've got an HTML editor, so you can paste in raw code. You can start with blank templates to design your own, or you can use one of these pre-designed templates. And I have to say, these are some of the most vibrant and just generally best looking templates I've seen. They're modern, they're fancy, but they're like, they're, they're not just flat modern. They're, they've just got that little extra something, you know? That little extra touch, that little extra detail that makes you go, okay, okay, that's cool. That looks good. Not just good, but good. <laughs> and uh, wow, I sound like a professional designer, don't I? Well, I have already sent out a test email myself just to get a quick look at how everything works. But these templates, I'm still impressed. Let's grab this. They're actually making pink and green kind of work, but let's not do that. Let's grab this one. And the actual editor is some very simple stuff. You can change the overall style. You can change the width, the background colors. You can choose a background image. So thus you can change all those general styles in a couple of clicks. Adding content is just a matter of dragging and dropping in one of the smoothest drag and drop experiences I've seen so far, literally smooth. And of course, obviously you'd want to tweak everything you do to make sure it all fits the design and all that, but there are, you've got settings for everything. You can add blocks of custom HTML, social, you can add pro or product boxes or recommended products, depending on the e-commerce store you've got integrated with GetResponse, which we'll get into later. And then you, you can even create sort of custom blocks and save them. And so you can just reuse them. It's really simple stuff all in all. And then you can just send your email out to all your users. It's good, it's simple. I like, I like simple, oh God, I like simple. There's also a landing page uh, designer that is similarly good, but we're really not going to get into that today. Again, if you want more information, there's a full detailed review, written review in the description. Let's move on to some of the other basics. All right, so to adding contacts is really simple. You just, you can add them one by one manually, which is the long way, but if you only have one or two to add, that's probably the fastest way actually. And then you can always upload a file. They support CSV, text files, VCF files, Excel files, and even ODS files. ODS is, if I'm not mistaken, Open Documents Spreadsheet. It's this file format used by open source programs like LibreOffice, and others, it's the fact that it's there is awesome. You can paste addresses from a file, you can migrate a list from elsewhere, and you can connect services like Zendesk or HiRISE or Magento or Google Docs, and you can import contact lists from those third-party services. All good stuff. The actual lists are, you know, easy. You could you you can. Um, see lots of details there, if, email addresses, if you see that, uh, when they've been updated, what lists they're, they're on, how you added the those particular contacts. But more importantly, you can segment your lists. Now, segmentation is a cool, cool little feature. It allows you to create a sort of dynamic list of contacts. So, for example, I, right now, I, all, all of these contacts are being filtered by 
when they subscribed, and they subscribed before August 13th, 2021. Filters, everything. And whenever somebody new signs up to your newsletter or what have you, who fits those criteria, they will automatically be put into this list. Segmentation's a cool little feature. And every single mail marketing platform, frankly, should have it. Not all of them have good segmentation, though. Next up, we've got automation. <laughs> Automation is actually a really cool feature because it allows you to automatically send emails when certain conditions are met. So example, you can send a welcome message after a contact joins your list. You can introduce new offers to your contacts based on uh, tags that you've assigned to them. So if you if you notice one, a set of customers is interested in furniture, you can add the furniture tag to them and they'll start automatically receiving emails that you set up about your furniture deals, for example. You've got um, you've got list cleaning through tags and scores. You can remove contacts that have stopped engaging with your messages. So, like if they click a link in your email, they get tagged like with a tag that says this person's engaging with the emails. But if they don't, they get tagged with something that says this person's not engaging with the emails, and you can remove them automatically, which is important because the way. Uh, Get response works is that the e emails are you're limited to a certain number of contacts you can send unlimited emails to them but you're limited to a certain number of contacts depending on the plan you're paying for so let's take a look at a, a simple welcome template and the template creator is advanced you work use it like mind mapping software and you can just add different things and you can uh, take all sorts of actions you can send and messages push notifications copy email addresses to a specific lists copy things to other workflows it's a kind of complicated if you've never done this sort of thing before it's like the very basic programming but you know you don't actually have to touch code so that's you know pretty awesome Next up, let's take a look at the statistics. Most of this review is based on someone else's work. So I only sent out one test email and I was able to open it in one of my test accounts. But you get lots of information at a glance. You get delivery rates, open rates, click rates, unsubscribe rates, bounce rates. You get to see trends, you know, who's opening or clicking uh, on your emails and the links in them over time. You can, you know, see all of that stuff all at a glance. It's an easy way to get a big picture view of you know everything and you can download reports next up integrations you can integrate get response with your e-commerce store you know in presta shop or magento your woocommerce store on wordpress amazon etsy events uh, sites like eventbrite paypal zoho crm all kinds of stuff and then of course you get integrations with zapier which allows you to connect to your to get response to thousands of other services, literally thousands. So yeah, the features are, you know, this isn't even a complete list of all the features. I can't list all the features, uh, don't have the time. But take a look for yourself. Again, check the link in the description for the full review and get an idea. Let's just quickly go over some of the other things that matter. Get response has some pretty strong deliverability features. For example, they do have DKIM authentication that's easy to implement. Basically, that's encryption that tells, you know, the the email servers like that you're sending to that your email really is coming from you. Get response also handles has a strong anti-spam policy, which is important because if spam comes from the same email server that yours comes from, your email suffers. Your email will, is less likely to get through. Get response did pass a test where we upload spam-like emails and it detected them automatically to make sure that sending you know to those emails wouldn't negatively affect you. It, it blocked those emails from being added to a list. And all e email addresses you add are checked first which is good. I appreciate that. Affiliate marketers are allowed on GetResponse, which is some cause for concern. Affiliate marketers are known for bombarding uh, people with spam, but uh, GetResponse's terms of use are very clear on the subject. If an affiliate marketer gets out of hand, they'll be banned. You can also get dedicated IP addresses, which sort of separates your email from all the other emails sent on the service, which can be great for you managing your email's reputation with Gmail and so on. Unfortunately, it's only available with the most expensive plan. Now for the support. I personally did not engage with the support team, but the writer who wrote the you know the review on the site uh, had a great time. It, it's, they basically you can get um, support in three different ways. Uh, 
all available 24 7 you can go th through email support live chat and as there's a super detailed knowledge base so you can learn everything you want to know yourself the average time to get a live an, an answer on live chat is about three minutes sometimes faster so that's great prices are affordable if you want full prices check the link in the description because we can keep those prices updated which is why i'm not saying anything specific here but uh the basic plan is quite cheap quite affordable you know but you know uh it, once you start to go up the plan tiers it starts to get a little expensive not just regular price raising it gets to get quite expensive but you know make sure you pick the right plan for you and it's not so bad especially if you're just starting out it's cheap to go with get response really is one of the best we've reviewed so you know i'd honestly recommend giving it a look i'd honestly recommend checking the link in the description for the full review the analytics department might feel a bit weak honestly but the you know you you do get some nice at a glance analytics but feature wise analytics aside it's one of the best we've we've found well that was that for get response so i hope you had a great time i hope this video was fun and informative for you and educational and this is ezekiel bruni signing out